coma that's fucking your eyes up, dude. It's those limiting beliefs. Ja, die, ving die vingers die rekken zo uit. Ja. What the fuck? What a bad programming. There he is. A phone rings. Clutching at the receiver, an operator answers the call. A man at the other end mutters a warning. 20 minutes, the van in front of the stock exchange. Followed by a series of code words. 2.2 kilometers northeast. Happened to be walking by the building when the bomb went off. When the dust settled, three people had been killed, a further 91 injured, and around 350 million pounds in damages had been caused to the surrounding buildings. It was a devastating attack. According to contemporary reports, it was the most powerful bomb detonated in London since the Second World War. But who were the culprits? Some months prior to the bombing, in a shed in the county of South Armagh in Northern Ireland, a group of men What did that nonsense have to do with this? And more importantly, what that comes with this? 
That's why I'm happy to work with today's sponsor, Guardian. Finally, an incredibly easy to use and very efficient browser friendly that blocks malicious attacks before they even happen. You may not realize it, but the majority of our interaction with the internet is through our browsers. They store our passwords, banking credentials, as well as our habits, and uh, maybe sometimes dodgy passwords. In other words, the last things you'd like to have in the hands of a cyber criminal or a scammer. This is why Guardio is such an important extension. Guardio is your shield against phishing attempts, malware, scam sites, and pop ups. It will also notify you in real time about information leaks connected to you. Once you've installed it, Guardio will run a security scan to detect any existing threats. This could be a real wow moment. It certainly was for me, as it will show you what information of yours is already at risk or compromised. Getting really dry because I'm not blinking enough when I when I edit my videos. All right, well I'm gonna try to drive home. He uploaded a different version to the site with like updated language and disclaimers, and this is what she said in her response. Somebody who has a personal vendetta against me and against against holistic healing. Uh, they purchased the masterclass under a fake identity, and they recorded the entire thing and shared it online without my audio and with their own very skewed interpretation. And it went absolutely viral. So I won't be muting anything that she says because apparently she doesn't like that. And I figured it makes sense to follow the original broadcast that was taken down because, you know, that's how she originally intended it to be perceived by the public. And I also downloaded it before it was taken down, so... <sighs> didn't see that one coming, did ya? So she starts off the presentation with some what it is to see and explore why our brain and eyes stop seeing with full clarity. She goes into this further later on, but her main theory is that like vision issues arise not because of like aging or health issues or genetics or anything like that, but from the things in your life and how you're reacting to them. Uncovering limiting beliefs, identify and address any limiting beliefs that may be obstructing your vision. Yeah, dude, it's not cataracts or glaucoma that's fucking your eyes up, dude. It's those limiting beliefs of yours. And you'll see going forward that Samantha has a certain disdain for uh, modern medicine. But in this next slide, she talks about why people can't see from a medical standpoint. You have a cataract, you have a, your glaucoma, you have this, you have that, you have that, you have that. These are diagnoses and they're not reasons. They're not root causes. That's crazy because they are actually. <laughs> Those are literally the things causing poor vision, dude. And here's the thing, dude. sometimes shit just Whoops. fucking happens. You know what I mean? There's no rhyme or reason, anything. Sometimes shit just happens to your fucking body and it's bullshit. It's annoying. But Samantha thinks that there are things happening in your brain that causes these ailments to develop. And she explains that in this next slide. There's potentially 